Hello, Nabo community. It's that time again. The election is heating up and tension could high within your chapters. I wanted to take this opportunity to share a few important reminders and point out advocacy resources while we know advocacy is top of mind. The most important resource is in the Chapter Resource Center. Again, it's in the Chapter Resource Center. It is Advocacy in a Box. Advocacy in a Box shows each chapter what they should be doing depending on where they are in their advocacy journey. Templates for letters, press releases, scripts for advocacy events, you'll find it all there in Advocacy in a Box. Now let's get to the topic at hand, the election. If you're a member of your NABO chapters board or have a leadership role, you must that as NABO leaders, social media platforms are not just personal vehicles to feelings, feelings and viewpoints. They also reflect you as a leader showcasing your NABO values, ambitions and aspirations. As a member of your NABO chapter board, you are a leader of a bipartisan organization. While you can attend political events and support candidates financially, we request that you do not broadcast endorsements through televised interviews or social media, which reporters can use to connect to the organization. In an election cycle, it's natural to feel compelled to engage in political discourse. As a NABO member, it's imperative when you're together to focus on issues that directly impact our businesses, steering clear of divisive social issues that do not meet our NABO litmus test. NABO's bipartisan approach ensures that our voices are heard across party lines, fostering an environment conducive to sustainable business growth and economic prosperity. If we stray from our mission, we lose our standing with members of Congress, and most importantly, the trust of our membership. We can accomplish this by emphasizing the importance of transcending political divides to advocate for policies that benefit business, irrespective of political divides and party affiliation. Emphasizing with your fellow members the importance of setting aside personal beliefs on social issues ensures that the dialogue remains centered on economic empowerment and entrepreneurship. Continuing to discuss issues that matter, such as taxation, regulatory policies, access to capital, and workforce development. Encouraging our members to remain focused on advocating for policies directly related to business operations, such as infrastructure investment, trade policies, and small business support programs. Continuing to reiterate that while political tides ebb and flow, the need for bipartisan cooperation in business advocacy remains constant. Stressing the importance of cultivating relationships with elected officials and policymakers based on mutual respect and a shared commitment to economic prosperity. As women business owners, our ability to influence policy outcomes transcends political divides. By focusing on business issues instead of social issues and adopting a bipartisan approach to advocacy, we can amplify our collective voice and drive positive change that benefits businesses of all sizes and sectors. Let us unite in our commitment to economic empowerment and entrepreneurship, setting aside political differences to build a brighter future for ourselves and future generations. And most importantly, get out and vote. <laughs>